Welcome back to part two of lesson 5-5. Five, five. This is dealing with multiple angles. And we have already evaluated an expression with double angles and done an equation as well. And we have evaluated an expression with half angle identities. And now we're going to do one of those equations. So if you'll please look at example five, it says to solve on the interval of zero to two pi, two times sine squared of x over two plus cosine x equals one plus sine x. And we want to find values for x on that interval. So when we do that, we look for some things uh, for which we can substitute. And this is the first one that comes to my mind, that sine of x over two, because I have an identity for that. Now it's squared, but that's okay. So when I evaluate just the sine of x over two, that is plus or minus the square root of one minus cosine x over two. That's the x over two part. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to square that, right, because sine squared, I have a two out front. I'm gonna bring this down. Now when I square the square root, I get the value that's obviously inside, and the positive and negative go away as well because I'm squaring it. So I'm going to have two times one minus cosine x over two plus the cosine x equals one plus sine x. Now those twos are going to cancel, and I'm going to be left with one minus cosine plus cosine equals one plus sine. Well, let's combine like terms here. Our cosines are gone. And if I bring the one from the right, or subtract it over here, it's gone as well, one minus one. So I'm left with zero equals sine x. And the only place that sine is zero within the interval of zero to two pi is at zero and pi. I am done. Okay. So when you come to class, we will be doing a worksheet on the multiple angles, double angles and half angles, and uh, then we will be preparing for our test on the latter half of chapter five. Thank you. I'll see you in class.